The sounds of Rome. This gelato shop is fantastic, located just around the corner from the church in Trastevere. It has been seen on shows with Bobby Flay and Giada De Laurentiis, as well as the Pasta Queen from YouTube. It's fantastic. I got a pistachio flavor with big chunks of pistachios, and also a Janduya flavor, which had huge chunks of chocolate in it. Hello guys, today's Tuesday and we're exploring Trastevere. <laughs> we just got gelato at Otaleg, which is gelato spelled backwards. It's really yummy and they don't add a lot of ingredients to it, so it's natural and delicious. It's finally like autumn. The weather changed. It's not hot anymore. It's beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. Still a little too cold for my Swede, but yep. But <laughs> I'm happy. It's beautiful weather. This church is Saint Mary in Trastevere or Santa Maria in Trastevere. It's one of the oldest churches in Rome and probably marked the building of the first Christian worship place ever in Rome. The church is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. The basic floor plan and wall structure of the church dates back to the 340s. The first sanctuary was built in 221, and it has been restored in both the 4th and 8th centuries, and eventually in 1140, the church was completely rebuilt in a Romanesque style, although its original plan was preserved. When looking at the facade, you might notice this clock. It is still working today and a mosaic dating back to the 12th and 13th centuries depicting the Virgin Mary with 10 other women. Inside the church there are impressive mosaics by Pietro Cavallini and there's actually very little known about this Roman painter and mosaic artist who lived between 1240 and 1330. There are 22 granite columns inside and they were probably built using materials from the Baths of Caracalla. Ha <laughs> 
Did you ask? Okay guys, so I'm really... Okay, wait. <laughs> David left to go ride his motorcycle and visit his parents. So we're having a bit... <laughs> so <bright. laughs> I can't see anything. We're having a bit of a girl day, girl's night. And we're gonna have some pizza. Again, we had pizza last night. We're having a different kind of pizza tonight. I need some potato pizza. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what I'll get. I think potato pizza, maybe if they have those zucchini flowers, I like those. I want some mushrooms and I want some pizza 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 bianco. Pizza bianca. Oh, bianca. <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah, that that all sounds really good. So now we're gonna enjoy the last few hours of the sun. Walk around a little bit. It's about 4.30 and then we're gonna go home. Ingrid bought some earrings. <laughs> You're so tan. Why? They're Today Massimi is a very small piazza one block from Piazza Navona, used mainly as a parking lot for cars, but in 1950, a column from a small ancient theater named the Odeon of Domitian was reconstructed from fragments and placed here in this piazza. Piazza Navona is one of my favorite places in Rome. It's literally built on top of the site of the Stadium of Domitian, and you can even walk around the corner to see the ancient gate and go underneath for a tour. Piazza Navona has Baroque Roman architecture and amazing sculptures like the Fountain of the Four Rivers by Bernini. And you've probably seen this piazza in movies like Angels and Demons, Coins in the Fountain, Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow with Sofia Loren, and many more. It's an amazing place to relax and people watch. photo session and it went really great the people were so sweet and I met up with Ingrid in Piazza Navona and we're just enjoying the sunshine it's very cold and windy today and we're about to go home and get some lunch I hope you enjoyed
enjoyed today's video. This week was very busy with work for me. I had a lot of sessions and editing and I even taught English online some. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.